a wind turbine is rotating counterclockwise at 0.5 revolutions per second and slows to a stop in 10 seconds. Its blades are 20 meters in length. What is the angular acceleration of the turbine? Okay, so part A. Um, we'll use this equation plus alpha t. We know that the final uh, angular velocity is zero. Initial angular velocity is 0.5 revolutions per second plus alpha times t. Alpha is minus 0.5 and well actually let's convert that to omega not as 0.5 revolutions per second and uh, one revolution is 2 pi radians so this is equal to half uh, 0.5 times 2 is 1 so pi radians by radians per second all right so alpha is minus omega naught divided by t minus pi radians per second divided by 10 seconds so this is point three one four radians per second squared the negative sign just telling you that uh, the object, the wheel is slowing down. It's, or the blades are slowing down. Its blades are 20 meters in length. What is the angular acceleration of the turbine? What is the centripetal acceleration of the tip of the blades at t equal to 2 seconds? Okay. At t equal to 2 seconds. So, uh, so here the blade, the centripetal acceleration is is v squared by r and equal to we will call this r r omega squared by r equal to r omega squared. And uh, okay, so the centripetal acceleration at at t equal to zero, the centripetal acceleration is r omega naught square equal to r is twenty meters. And omega naught is pi radians per second squared. Okay, so this is equal to one hundred and ninety seven point four meters per second squared. And this is a uh, g is roughly 10 meters per second square, so this is roughly 220 g's. Okay, all right. And what is the centripetal acceleration of the tip? What is the magnitude and direction of the total acceleration of the tip of the blades at t equal to zero? Okay, so part c. Okay, we just found the centripetal acceleration and since the blade is slowing down, there's a tangential acceleration and the tangential acceleration, so the blade was rotating this way, the tangential acceleration is uh, R times alpha and we found alpha, alpha is, there's alpha 0.314 radians per second square. So R is 20 meters and uh, we're just finding the magnitude of the ex tangential acceleration and this is equal to C 
6.28 meters per second squared. All right, so what are we finding? What is the magnitude and direction of the total acceleration of the tip? So, um, so there's the tangential acceleration and there's the centripetal acceleration. This would be the total acceleration. And A total is a t square plus a c square is equal to 6.28 square plus 197.4 square. We'll add a page. So the magnitude of the total acceleration is. Um, Okay, so 197.5 meters per second square, and the angle would be let's calculate this angle theta, um, and you can see that uh, this drawing is not to scale. This is six units, and this is 200 units, so this angle should be essentially zero. So theta is tan inverse of this quantity by that quantity. So theta, theta is tan inverse of a t over a c equal to tan inverse of 6.28 divided by 197.4. So as promised, 1.82 degrees. All right, that finishes this problem.